And joining us now live is a man who business-wise should go down as one of the smartest humans in the history of the NFL. He was born in Louisiana, if his Wikipedia is right. Went to high school in Florida, if his Wikipedia is right. Went to college at Ole Miss, was what? the 16th overall pick. Three time, or 13th overall pick in 2016. Three time Pro Bowler, ladies and gentlemen, stud left tackle, Laramie Tunzel. Yeah! Yo. Laramie, please allow me to tell you that I have wanted to have a conversation with you since draft night. Now, we will not have to dive into draft night, but I will want to let you know that I am a human, and I'm sure you've met a lot of these people through your travels who was 100% on your side that evening, even more so. I sent a text to people of power and said, hey, this is an impressive thing that he just did here, not the opposite. And ever since then, with all the scrutiny that you had on you, all you did is just show up and play fucking football better than everybody else. I don't know how you were able to do it. The mental toughness is a real thing. And we want to, as a show, congratulate the shit out of you yeah. for battling through something you did not deserve at all, I think, to start this whole thing. So let's dive into it. You just re-upped with the Houston Texans. Uh, yes, was, sir. Was that the plan all along? Is that what you assumed would happen? And uh, how long did that process take? Yeah, that was the plan all along. Um, the process didn't take long, guys. You know, both sides was ready to get the deal done, and that's what we did. Um, my biggest thing is, like, I hired this great team. I hired um, I hired St. Omni. I have Lala. Hold on, hold on. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh! We do not know we were going to get into this this quickly. We got to. We are so excited. We do, we, we do got Who to. Who is this guy? We want to know. Uh, we looking for him. We we can't find him. We're big fans. <laughs> yeah. We are big fans Go. of St. Omni. But it is like one of the most interesting conversations I've ever seen on the internet. In the modern day, St. Omni should be able to be found quickly. And we should do that. <laughs> you would think St. Omni would want everybody yeah. to know. He, it's a complete opposite. It sounds like. Who is he? How'd you meet him? St. Omni, that my business partner, a mastermind, you know, a trusted confidant, you know, he just always there when I need him. So, so, oh, you know. oh, 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 that was him. Oh, oh, oh. That was him. He's there when I need him. <laughs> that was him. Hold on, was that his wow. ass right there, yeah. Larry? <laughs> that was him. <laughs> oh, can you can hey. you have that guy walk past? One more time. time. We need a little slower just, gate. Just, know, just just know he's always there when I need him, guys. That was one of the greatest works I've seen in a long oh, time. That was unbelievable. Yeah, that, was that was really good. good. That was awesome. Wow. AJ, go ahead, pal. Jeez, Do you me. think you're going to uh, – other players are going to be jumping on the bandwagon and trying to hire St. Omni as well with all that he's done for you? And I hope so. Like I said before, this guy's a mastermind. Like, he get things done. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, but... All right, so you got yours done really quick. Um, Lamar haven't got his done. If you could speak to Lamar right now – about your guy that just uh, whoever the guy is, or he or she or him or her or bot or computer. Um, or ghost. Or yeah. ghost. Or ghost. Um, awesome. I'm Lamar. Role play. Hey, man, I need an agent. Hey, Lamar, let's sit down and talk. Okay. I have my guy. I have my guy reach out to you. We can get things done. We can get things rolling. That's crazy. Right. Simple. La Laramie, it be what, simple, man. Is it, the business side of the NFL is something that's very difficult. Honestly, it is very, very difficult to get deals done. We're seeing it all over the place. It's how it's always been. It is, it's, it's been done a certain way for so long. So when it comes out that you represent yourself, and then they're obviously talking about St. Omni as this figure that just exists and we can't get any information the way like the NFL and the NFLPA and the insiders are talking about it. It's like, obviously you have to be an absolute beast on the field. But whenever right. you're talking about business with these people throughout <clears throat> your career, like the last couple of years, whenever you're talking and handling the day-to-day -day with Casario and with everybody in Houston, is it just like you're always interacting with them? You're always communicating with them? Because this is two times now where you've gotten the biggest deal in the history of your position, 50 million guaranteed, bro. Damn. Three-year deal, 50 million guaranteed at offensive line. Let's fucking go. Yeah. But like how come hey, you man. think it's because like, – what do you think it is about you – other than the fact with how good of a football player you are, which you are fucking unbelievable at what you do. Like, that cannot get forgotten in this whole story. That's why you get paid. Why do you think it happens much easier and quickly and better for you as opposed to maybe some other situations, Laramie? Well, well first and foremost, just 
producing on the field, man, just made a lot of things easier for me on the business side. You knew that, though, right? You knew that. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. Just yeah. My biggest thing for me as a player is just staying consistent. And that's what I did our last season. And I showed them, like, hey, like, and I let them know, like, I want to be here long term. I want to help you guys, you know, potentially win a championship and win a lot of games. So I'm here. So let's get something done. And, you know, Nick was very – Nick and D'Amico was – very good in this process. Like, they was ready to get it done, so it made everything smooth. Congratulations on it. It's not easy to get done. A.J. Hawk, go ahead, pal. What's it been like uh, in D'Amico's short time there? Obviously, a lot of hype with hiring him, bringing him back. Obviously, a stud player in his own right there. What's it, What's he been like, I guess, through the negotiations and, and also in his early time, like, that he's trying to set that culture, even though you guys aren't back yet fully? Yeah, he, he's, setting, he's setting a culture right now, actually. Like, great guy, high-energy guy. Every time he's like, every time he comes around, like it's just high energy. Everybody's just happy to see him. Everybody is ready to get to work, and you know that's something we need in this in this building, in this organization, like to get things right, get things right back on track. You've obviously started your career somewhere else, but you've gone to the Houston Texans. There's been a, to your, what you just talked about a lot of change, a lot of change. And you said your goal last year was just to be consistent, show them you want to be here, and everything like that. With all the turnover, how have you maintained the ability to be like? So driven, team focused, and everything like almost optimistic. I, I would assume you have to remain optimistic. How have you been able to do that? You got to remain optimistic for sure, especially the things that we've been through as an organization. But you know, just things like I love being an underdog. I love having to prove myself every single time I step on the field. It's like I want to be the best player, and I view myself as the best player. I want to be the most consistent player on the field, and 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 that's that's been my goals since I got into the league. So you're a businessman. Represent yourself, Hello. hire a team around you. You Hello. know that those quarterbacks behind you, especially the one they're going to draft here, uh, right. you're how old? 20 what? 20? 28. Good, yeah, 28 years old. Okay. Be, be back at 31, back at the door, get more money. Mm -hmm. With that rookie. Hello, Hello Pat. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find this this guy that's in Saint the back. Omni, man. Saint Omni. Um, we got to find this guy. We are big fans of Saint Omni, but like that rookie quarterback that they're going to draft, everybody just assumes this year, he'll be three years into his contract, too, mm -hmm. at that particular point. And with how much money they're getting, Laramie, you know what that means for your position? That means that thing's only going up and up. There's not a lot it's of only, It's only going up, man. It's only going up from here. You know that, right? Is the three-year deal like something you wanted, or was that what the team wanted? Because it feels like every deal that's getting signed this year is like a two-year deal pretty much. Everybody, except for quarterbacks, right. it's like a two-year deal. Was that from the team, or did you see that trend and wanted it as well? That's me and my business team. That's something we wanted to do. We want to stick with the three-year deals. Smart, isn't it? I mean, you're going to get another bite at the heart. You know yeah. I mean? oh, yeah. Another, <laughs> big bite. You get another big old bite at the apple. Connor has a question for you, Laramie. Yeah, Laramie, Connor, on this what's subject, up? as far as business goes, have you always been like this? Like, did you know going into the NFL, like, hey, as much as I love playing football, this is a business and I have to do what's right for me? Or was that something you kind of learned as you went from Miami to Houston? Because obviously you were a stud in Miami and then you get moved to Houston. A lot of people were kind of, you know, curious as to what happened and now you've turned it into two massive contracts tracks right no that's something that I, I learned as I got older like just being like the, the the CEO of my business you know I always wanted to, like my business operation I always wanted to be the CEO and I always wanted to hire smart intelligent guys around me or smart intelligent women and guys around me and just get things done so as it's something as I got older I just realized you know you were saying guys as a mm -hmm. yeah a full thing. Yeah, everybody. yeah, I think you're saying. I don't think anybody. Uh, Pac Man has a question for you. Um, Pat, what up? What's up, baby? You know you're the big dog in the locker room now. If you could pick <laughs> one of these quarterbacks right here in these three, oh, four yeah. really good ones. Um, I don't know if you got to see CJ play today. Uh, I mean his pro day today. If you could add one of them over there to lead the huddle over there, which one would it be? You know, I love to have. Any, any one of them quarterbacks in the locker room, honestly. You know, I trust Nick and I trust the front office to, to make the right decision to help us win games, man. Have you paid attention to it at all or you just got to focus on your own thing because you're just in the contract? You have to hear it. Nah, you know I've you know I've been tapped in. You yeah. know I've been tapped yeah. in, man. Hey, Somebody don't call. Hey, they're pro day, dude. <laughs> CJ's pro day was right here. They're showing these clips from CJ's. It's like, man, he's fucking phenomenal. But then we'll watch another pro day. And then we'll watch another Bryce program. Young tomorrow. Exactly. And it'll be like, exactly. and I think that's why you said you're good with any of them because it seems like right now it's like, how do we definitely know? Mm -hmm. You know? What do you that's think you need down there? Quarterback? What else do you think to, to really make the place go? You think, Laramie? Man, 
quarterback, receiver. We we need a lot of pieces just to get just get this thing right back on track. And we 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 close, man. I love the fans down there. They're loud. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are a loud yeah. fan. Lot, oh, yeah. fifth largest city in America. People forget about that whenever you're, no yeah. sixth, fourth. Fourth largest Fourth, city in America. It's moving up, yeah. Phoenix is fifth largest city in America. People forget about that because all you ever talk about is New York, L.A., yeah. Chicago. It's like Houston's fucking mm-hmm. massive. Yeah. Huge. It is right. a huge place with a lot of humans. Ty has a question for you, Laramie. Yeah, Laramie, what up? Laramie, you kind of alluded to it when, you know, Pat asked about all the turnover and, and staying positive there. And, you know, obviously your job is to protect the quarterback first and foremost. But we've learned a lot more about offensive line play this year with a guy like A.Q. Shipley who comes on the show, played in the league for a really long time. Um, how difficult has it been like when, you know, you you almost like you're getting into a groove or, or whatever the case may be, and then you have a whole new offensive system that comes in and you have to do that multiple times. Like, again, you're protecting the quarterback, but I think it's, it's a lot more complex than just, hey, I just got to sit back here, anchor, and make sure my guy doesn't get, you know, his head taken off. Of course, um, you know, it's ups and downs. That's what that's what come with this. That's what come with this business. That's what come with this lead. It's going to be a lot of ups and downs, but, you know, that's a part of the business. We just got to, my main thing for me was just to stay consistent no matter what happens, no matter if how many ups and downs happen, no matter what we go through, just stay consistent and just get it done. Laramie, you know, when you I've done some pass sets in my day. I mean, uh, over there. I used to do public pass sets, Laramie. It was like walking through the airport. Somebody's walking and you just start doing this to them. It is yeah. a hilarious thing. People have like their AirPods in. Mm-hmm. They're just walking. And, what the hell? The fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> and then you just keep walking. It is a fantastic thing. Is there anybody in the league right now that whenever you're, hey, look, you know, uh, but pretty good, right? You saw that square yeah. shoulders. Fucking didn't peacock too much. You saw it. I know you saw it. Hands are ready. Inside leverage. We would do it. Unless we're fucking out of that. You know what I mean? But is there anybody that lining up on the other side, you think you like less sleep the week of? And it feels like there's a lot of those types of guys in the league right now. We got some fucking monsters Mm -hmm. coming off the edges these days in the NFL, AFC also. Like, is there anybody up there that is different than anybody else? And is there any weeks that are different for you? I give credit to this one guy. And I've been giving him credit since we was in college battling. Miles Garrett, man. The dog. The dog. Dude, he is. What's he do? Is is it a combination of his size and speed and everything? Or what's he do different? Size, speed. Ben, he can do everything. And he's dunking too, just like yeah. you ever yeah, seen an athlete. He's Instagram. An athlete. Instagram, sure. he's taking his shirt off. Mm-hmm. He's fucking. <laughs> oh yeah. And then he's just like dunking on these kids at LA Fitness. It's like, bro, could you imagine? I'm going to play a pickup <laughs> game. LA Fitness. Yeah, hold on. Oh, you win a game and, and like somebody shows up and they call next. It's like you're not even really paying attention. You're on the court again. Third game maybe. Third game, new team comes yeah, on. A little tired. And they got fucking Miles Garrett on the team. <laughs> what are we even the hell? What are we even doing uh when it comes to that? I I Zito just told me that you have a YouTube page that is very uh new, I believe. A YouTube page that is about to go. Protect there the tree. Go. At Ooh, Laramie sure. Tunzel 78. There's Please a video on it. Up, St. Omni's in this. I've wow. been told. I, I've been told St. Omni's Whoa. in that video. Whoa. Is that accurate, yep. Laramie? <laughs> hey. Y'all going to have to watch it and let me know. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We appreciate the hell out of you. Congrats on the new contract. Thank you for making time for us, and good luck with the rest of the offseason. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Hey, and tell Saint Omni, you know, hey, we're all voted, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it going. Laramie Tunzel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, man. 